This ride is all about the saddle. So if you are a beginner or you just got a new stationary bike or exercise bike, today's 20 minute stationary bike workout is for you. Keep being the amazing butt kicker that you are. Welcome, if this is your first time here, my name is Kaylee and I am a certified spin instructor and NASM personal trainer. And I am so excited that we can work out together today. I do have a library full of indoor cycling and strength workouts. So if you are into that thing, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell and you will get notified whenever I post a new workout. As I mentioned, this workout will be perfect if you are on a stationary bike, a recumbent bike, an upright bike, a spin bike, any type of bike because we are going to remain in the seat the entire time. And this is a great option if you are a beginner looking to build muscle and endurance, or if you are just looking for a low impact cardio option. And if you have not set up your spin bike properly, click the link here and that will show you how to set up your spin bike. I will go over resistance during this warm up, but I also have a specific video. You can find that down in the description below. And that explains how I call out resistance for these workouts. And we're gonna get right into this workout, so make sure that you have a towel and a water bottle, and let's do this. All right, so we are gonna start out at your five, and what you want to feel when you are at a five is just a little bit of resistance. So to protect your knees, you always wanna make sure that you have some resistance under your feet. And now these numbers I'm gonna call out between, I always call it between five and 10, so you can imagine 10 is the heaviest that we will go. We will not go there today though, so you'll have to check out another video so you can experience 10. So today we're just gonna go in between five and nine. Right now, if you do have a computer on your bike, you can follow RPM. If that shows that to you, I will call those out. If not, you can catch the beat or just try to follow my leg. But again, listen to your body. And if you need to slow down or take some resistance off, make sure to do so. But right now, one, two, one, two. And we're gonna get ready to pick up our speed at this five. But we're gonna talk about form. Again, so important. Keep your head up and your shoulders down away from your ears. Engage your core, and you can think about belly button to spine. Keep your feet flat as you pedal. You wanna think about the push down of the pedal stroke and the pull up, the entire revolution of that pedal stroke. But we're gonna get ready for our first speed increase. Pick it up just a little bit. Just a little bit here, even if you go five RPM, 10, whatever you have right now. And breathing. 30 second push. Almost there. Four, three, two, one. Slow it back. Slow it back. Add one. Turn it up to your six. So again, this is just a little bit of resistance. What you think about, you have a, your five is the base of that hill. It's, a, it's a, a flat road, but again, a little bit of resistance. Six, a little heavier. Seven is mid-hill, but we gotta pick it up. Come on, right here. Last push, 30 seconds. Again, just above the beat is where we are pedaling. You're halfway. And remember your form. Heart rate is coming up. Four, three, two, one. Slow it back here. Back to the beat. One, two, one, two. And again, with your pedal strokes, you wanna make sure that your knees are coming straight out in front of you. Not in and not out. So think about that. When you are beginning, it is so important to use that muscle memory so you can get your form correct from straight out of the gate. But we're slowing it down. If you have that computer, you're in the 60s. If not, one, two, one, two. Let's add one, seven. That is mid-hill. Getting pretty heavy, you could maintain it for a while though, but you can definitely feel it. We're going into a rolling hill. So you're gonna take it one down and pick it up. Find your six, pick it up right here for a six. Not quite a sprint, but you are pushing. 20 
20 seconds is all we have here. A little bit faster than that warm up. 90s if you can. Almost there. Slow it back. Slow it back. We're going to turn it back up. Seven. Your seven. One, two. One, two. Remember that form. Keep your head up. Shoulders down. We're going to pick it up again. 30 seconds this time. Take it down. One. Find your sit. Remember, make sure you feel some resistance. Build your speed. Build your speed. Go. Come on, pick it up. A little bit faster than the first one. Breathing. You have got this. Keep it up. Halfway. Almost there. Four. Three. One, slow it back, slow it back, holding your six, slowing it down, we have one final push, going in less than 10 seconds, 30 seconds is going to take us to the end, here it is, go, last push, pick it up even faster than that last one if you can, that was called a rolling hill, so that is when we take it slow and heavy, Sometimes we turn them into sprints, but we're still getting warm here. Almost there. Four, three, two, one. Slow it back. Slow it back. You're going to turn it up. Seven. This song is all about endurance here. Slowing your speed down. 70s up to 80s. One, two, one, two. Remember your form. Get a form check right now because as we get tired, the shoulders start to come up. We hunch over and we really lean into the handlebars. So just want a nice light grip on the handlebars. And a slight bend in your elbow. But what we're going to do for this first song to work on endurance is build those muscles. We're going to keep pedaling with both, but I just want you to think more about one leg and then we'll switch to the other leg. So we're going to start with the right leg. Focus on that right leg. Push down, pull up right here. 30 seconds. Right leg, come on. Keep your feet flat. Push, pull. Nice. You got this. We got goals to get. We gotta go catch them. Push, come on. Heart rate is coming up, getting out of breath. I don't know if you can feel it. Four, three, two, one, both legs. Back to thinking about both of them now. But you can feel the burn, right? It wakes up. It wakes up quick. Awesome. We have one more. We're going to think about that left leg. Less than 10. Remember your form. Keep your feet flat. Make sure you're feeling that resistance. Here we go. Left. One, two, one, two. Stop. Stop. Come on. 30 seconds. Got to make them equal. The right leg just comes along for the ride here. It's getting a nice break. But you will really feel that quad muscle when you pull up, which is the top of your leg, and then that push works the back of your leg. So we're working it all. We're burning those calories. Low impact calorie burn. We are all about it. Get ready, both legs. Back to both. One, two, one, two. We're gonna go in for a push for a short push where we turn it up to eight. Turn it up to eight. Right now, try to maintain your speed. Again, this is endurance. We are working, building right now. Come on. One, two, one, two. You've got it. Almost there, we're gonna take it back down. 
to a seven right here. Turn it down. Seven. One, two, one, two. 30 seconds to the end. And then you go for a lot. So we are really going to be feeling the legs. We have team sprint. We have team climb around here. So I would love to know which team you want by the end of this workout. Because right now, team climb. Here we come. So for climbs, we go heavy, but we're gonna slow it down. We are gonna climb this hill as we go. So the eight and the nine are what we're gonna find. Those get super heavy. What you wanna think about when you climb is to make sure that you are maintaining a smooth pedal stroke. If you are not, take some resistance off. As long as you're going right, you don't need to go too slow either. We're gonna be riding right around 55 but this is a short song. So we need to turn it up. Get ready. Find your eight. Turn it up. Eight. One, two, one, two. Bring the heat. Good. Stomp it out. Again, staying in the saddle. So you really need to think about pushing down and pulling up. Oh, I'm feeling it. We are. Starting to burn. The fire builds up. Come on, push. Coming for that nine. We're gonna climb the hill. We're gonna come down the hill. So we're gonna take it to the top and then come back down. One, two, one, two. I want you to try to pick it up just a little bit. Come on, right here, pick it up just a little bit. Small push here at the eight. Picking it up, maybe five RPM. Four, three, two, one. Back to the beat. It's getting hot. One, two, one, two. We're gonna two. have to take all these clothes off. We are PG around here, but you're at home, so you can do what you want, I guess. All right, get ready. Turn it up to a nine right here. Nine. Come on. One, two, one, two. Remember your form. Four engage. Push down. Pull up. Shoulders down away from your ears. Light grip on your handlebars. Come on, push it. Ten more. And you can take it down. Back to that eight. Four, three, two, one, five, eight. Seven's coming up. Four, three, two, one, seven. You did it. That was our climb. Now, team sprint, this is for you. We are going for a sprint. Breathe here. We're gonna hold the seven right now. You were riding 70s, 80s, not catching the beat, but we're just gonna push. And for these sprints, we have three of them. I want you to give everything that you've got. Right now is when you need to remember your goals. Why are you here? Why did you push play? We remember it because we are so close to the end. The change happens when we push through things that challenge us. That's what makes us stronger. We have 50 seconds, or 15 second push. Find your six, find your six, find your six. Start building it. Come on, oh I hear that sprint coming. We have less than 10 seconds before we go. Take a deep breath, get ready. Four, three, two, one, we push. 15 seconds. Remember, nice and controlled. Make sure you have resistance on. Four, three, two, one. Slow it back down. Slow it back down. Add two, no, sorry, add one. I'm getting crazy here. Back to your seven, we have slowed down. Right now is when you need to recover. Breathe, 
gather your belongings back up. Sometimes we lose them during the sprint. And by the way, this is Stella. She is our cheerleader, if you noticed her during the sprint. <laughs> she likes to hang out with us during the workouts. Breathe. This next sprint is 30 seconds. We're gonna take it down to a five. So again, make sure that you are in control of this. Down to a six. Build it. Just a little bit here. Find your five. Get ready. 100% all out. Now. Feet are flat. Push down, pull up. Halfway. Breathing. Here we are. Four, three, two, one. Slow it back. Slow it back. Add one. Find your six. Your six. This is it. Team sprint. Come on. Come on. All together. Here we go. 15 seconds. And go. Last push at a six. Keep your chest up. Your shoulders down away from your ears. Four, three, two, one. That's it. That is it. You did it. Bomb.com. We need to breathe. We're gonna recover here. Grab a drink of water if you need to. Dry off. This is such an important part of your workout. The cool down. I'm telling you. I know most people are like, oh, the sweating is done. It's time to get up. You gotta stick around. I like to call the cool down and the stretch the dessert because it feels so good. Your body deserves it. And the stretching and the cool down will help your body come down from the workout and also minimize soreness for the next day. Bonus. This is good for your mind. So just take in everything that you just did. But we're riding now, still at that six. We're going to take it down to a five. Your RPMs. 70s, then we're gonna take it down to the 60s as yeah, that heart rate comes down. My rings don't fill my fingers anymore, and I will leave my mirrors on the door. I watch you. Well, I am very proud of you do, for completing this workout with me. And I am very curious, so if you would let me know in the comments, because this really does help to plan the workouts, what type of bike are you on? Are you on a stationary bike? Are you on a recumbent bike? An upright bike? I'm, I would love to know. So if you could please let me know in the comments. It would be super helpful and I would very much appreciate it. Breathing, let's take it down. Five. Again, five. Just a little bit of resistance. I am a certified form freak, so I will continually remind you about form because it is so important. It is important to make sure that you get the most out of your workouts if your form is correct. That can really bring in the most power to your workout and it will also prevent injury. So that's why I constantly remind you about it. And I am constantly reminding myself about it as well. Slowing the legs down even more. We have just a bit more here. Breathing. Heart rate should feel like it's coming down now. Again, just enjoy this. We're about to go out into the hectic, crazy world again. We're just gonna, we're just gonna love on this right now. Cause it feels so good. And I'm about to lose my head. If you do join me for some other workouts, you will see that my headphones become a bit of a nuisance. As that heart rate comes down, I'm going to pop up some 
some videos over here. This is the stretch. Make sure to follow up with this. It will really help to minimize soreness and help to increase your flexibility. And also, if you want to add some strength, you can find that right there. And I will see you next time.